What's going on everybody? Ian here from Redline. I've got something really cool to share with you guys today. I've seen portable car hoists before, but I've never seen one like this. Uh, Mr. Robert over here, this gentleman has designed this car hoist and he's brought it to us from California to have a look at it. He's traveling all over the country going to races and showing this thing. Robert, where, what did you say was the next event you were going to? Uh, Rocky Mountain 2.0. Rocky Mountain 2.0, and when is that? September 19th. September? Nice. September 19th, 2020. So if you want to go see this thing, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to do a little bit of a demonstration, and I'm going to show this to you guys. I can't necessarily sell one of these things to you right now, but I can tell you where to get them, and I can show it to you. It's really, really cool. I'm excited to see this thing work. I have never used it before. I've never seen it do anything. So we're going to check it out here and see what happens. All right, Robert, show me here what we're going to do first. We're going to lower the rear. Okay. Get, open the cloth, get the handle out. So what we've got here is a hydraulic jack, a great big bottle jack like what you see on our rotisseries. It's connected to this specially made trailer and he's going to lower the trailer down to the ground. I'm pretty excited to see this. He's pulled this, this strut out right here and allowed the bottle jack to drop down the back of the trailer. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the front now. Pulls a pin here on a custom-made strut. I like your decals right there, Robert. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Instagram models. Jacking it up. Strut comes up. And then you lower it down. That is cool. Let me show you guys something. Robert towed this thing here from California, and his ball, <laughs> the trailer hitch was not on the ball. From Atlanta, Georgia. From Atlanta, excuse me. And luckily the thing just has so much tongue weight that nothing terrible happened. All right, so now Robert is going to, uh, to get the overhead crossbar on this thing to go up, because right now it's not really tall enough. Go ahead, Robert. So, so okay. this unit, is equipped with some optional awnings that you see up there. We're going to put those out in just a second. All right, so you just pulled a, uh, a handheld control there. Where, where did you pull that from, Robert? The box. So you got a built-in got a built-in toolbox here with a battery, a controller. A battery, a solar-powered charger. A solar-powered charger? Yeah. That's really cool, man. Awesome. Okay, and then over here we've obviously got a great big metal reservoir, a hydraulic pump. Okay, sweet. Um, let's do it. Okay, so now correct me if I'm wrong. Oh wow, I didn't even know that was going to happen. So as you raise the lift, the top goes up. Wow. And Robert, then, I honestly thought you were going to get up there and like, you know, manually do that. And then we lock it? Lock it? Let me see what you're doing there. We lock it here. Okay. Those pins slide in. Uh-huh. Lock the other side. See, I see it lock right there. Okay. All right, so you're just sliding a little cam yeah. pin in there. That's really cool. And then I, with the controller, slide it down a little bit. Okay. Put it down a little bit. Put the pin out. Pin out. Uh huh. And pull that bar off, and now our overhead bar is locked in place. Right. Okay. So now the next thing will be to open the awnings. Open the awning. So that's like a uh, an optional accessory, I'm told. Those things are going to cost you extra. We're going to open the awnings. All right, cool. Robert says that uh, get yourself a ladder so you're not trying to stand on <laughs> wet arms here. It's a rainy day for us, so everything is covered in water. I'm a professional. Do what? I'm a professional. You're a professional, right? Right. Is this uh, is this OSHA regulated? <laughs> My OSHA. <laughs> Your OSHA. Right. 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 That's really cool. It's kind of like the same type of awnings that you see on like these really fancy coaches where nothing, you know, nothing sticks down below. It just pops right out. That is just too cool, Robert. Motorized uh, option is, is an option. Okay, so a motorized option is available. Awesome. 
So I, I do plan on having 12 foot by 12 foot awnings. These uh -huh. are 10 by 8s. These are 10 by 8s and you're going to have a 12 by 12. Yeah. Okay, awesome. For more shade. Uh-huh, sure. And you can adjust these awnings up and down. You can adjust the awnings up and down? Yeah, there's a screw that you can adjust them. Okay, all right, cool. Sure, of course, have a hold on. So this thing is magnetic. Okay, cool. So what you've got here is actually a 9,000 pound base plate lift that has actually been converted into a clear floor lift. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I do want to mention that Mr. Roberts says that the dual spare tires that you see here is an optional accessory. He's traveling all over the country with these, so obviously he's opted for the spares. One of the things that I noticed about this trailer is that uh, the bracing for the fenders is just magnificently large. Everything on this thing is huge in terms of its construction. Nothing is rinky-dink at all. Uh, Robert, I see that you've got drum brakes right here. The so electric, this, this trailer has brakes. Yeah, it does. Awesome. So you got a special little carrier so, here for them. So we have four ramps. Yeah, they're wet though. Yep. Place it there. Okay, so that's not really a ramp. That's more like a... That's for the front. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's a... Uh, it races up the front of the car and you don't drive off the trailer is what that does. Okay. Depending on how long your car is, you might need longer ones. Right, right. Or, in your case, we might not even need them. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, cool. And so here's the actual ramps that get us up onto the trailer. Okay. Okay. Next thing is be placing the pads. Uh-huh, the lifting feet. So I see those are telescopic. Cool. Yeah, and then they have, uh, they're slotted. Uh-huh. So they, they... Right, right, they sit right down into the arm. And you have to take them off or else they'll bounce off while you're driving. Of course. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't want to trans... Uh, you wouldn't want to move the trailer around with those things in place. Obviously, you would get there and they would be gone. Okay. We've got uh, my mother-in-law's Hyundai on this car lift. Time to send her... Damn it. All right. We've got my mother-in-law's Hyundai on the car lift. Time to send it to the sky. Let's do it, Robert. Right, right, right. Okay, so we've basically gone as high as we can go here. Without, without adjusting the awnings. Without adjusting the awnings, okay. There's uh, plenty of height under here. How tall are you, Robert? 5'6". Five, 5'6", six. Five, six. okay. You, you fit yeah. on here. Yeah, even then, if I step up onto the platform, I'm still good to go to work on this thing with no problems. And it goes higher, of course. It goes, oh yeah, yeah. Really just a cool, cool thing that you've got here, Robert. My hat's off on the design of this thing. A lot of innovation. Just super cool. So if you were outside, we're under this, this great big awning today because it's a rainy day. But if we weren't, you would still have total shade for the vehicle you were working on. Too cool. Alrighty, so we got the car lifted up there. I was really curious to see, you know, what was this going to be like? Because this is a two-post lift that is not anchored to the concrete like it's designed to be. You know, in this situation, you've got struts in the back over here that, that add strength to it. It's obviously bolted to a steel frame, and then you're relying on your overhead bar to give you a lot of strength. So 
I was really kind of curious, am I going to see a bunch of deflection? Am I going to hear, you know, things creaking and making me worry? No, um, everything looks rock solid. Nothing, uh, nothing makes me worry. Let's go ahead and send it on down, Robert. Got to pull our safety locks here. anywhere dirt mm -hmm. sand so you don't necessarily have to have a solid foundation no. you can put this thing on a gravel parking lot as long as it's level as long as it's level gotcha uh, hey tell me uh, Robert, zero degrees what's the heaviest thing you've lifted with it so far um on this i lift an excursion an excursion yeah that's uh and of course we make the bigger one the semi lift okay awesome i know you guys are going to ask because as you can see here uh just everything that it is constructed out of is huge, really, really thick stuff. The whole thing weighs 3,500 pounds. Okay, so I was talking to uh, Robert, and he said that the, uh, the deep cycle battery on this thing is good for... That's so neat to me how that thing lowers down with the car lift. It's good for 13, uh, 13 cycles, right, Robert? Right. Okay, cool. So that's so cool. The carriages go down, and then the overhead bar follows with it because they're connected with that strut. That is really just too cool. Uh, if you want to reach out to Robert, telephone number 951-400-5290. These things are available uh, both for rent and for sale. Base models, I'm told, start at just under 10000 bucks. You can get all sorts of upgrades, like your hydraulic jacks down here. You can get those things powered if you want. Um, the overhead awnings can be powered. There's all kinds of options. This one, as it sits right here, he tells me is about 14,000 bucks. So this is really something somebody could use as a business opportunity to try and rent it in your area uh, or just use it for yourself. It's, um, it's really cool. Wanted everybody to see that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would ask that you please click the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. Please click the thumbs up. And uh, that's about it. Appreciate y'all watching. Take care.